Mm-hmm. Next thing I wanted to talk about with this Morbius movie. So okay. this movie was originally scheduled to come out towards the end of January. I haven't seen any press about it since that last little trailer they released a while back. Mm-hmm. And now they pushed it all the way out to April 1st, mm-hmm. which is crazy to me. Um, right now, we've got a huge gap between when we're going to get new comic book content. There's a rumor we might get Moon Knight in February, but it's not confirmed. But there's nothing right now until like April, May. Dead. Yeah. And I'm shocked that Sony decided to move this movie out. And they're saying it's because they want to give Spider-Man No Way Home more time in theaters, right? They no, said that? That's what they said. They're like, you know what? They need to give this movie more time to breathe because it's doing well. And I think that's crazy considering the amount of hype that is now build up, built up for Morbius because of Spider-Man No Way Home. Mm. Right? Because now that yeah. they... I mean, I totally would have let it keep going. Um, yeah. But I mean, I understand that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, that's not it's not unprecedented i actually thought that they were delaying it because of uh the rising cases with covid like places are shutting back down like things mm-hmm. are going back you know restrictions nobody home is proof that ain't nobody scared ain't nobody scared to come outside listen <laughs> all i know is different cities are taking different precautions and i that's thought that's true. why they per, uh pushed it back just to kind of be like hey look we want maximum capacity you know to actually be a thing but no no they're saying that this box office is doing good or at least that's the official reason they're putting out they could be because of that but that's what they put out and i'm gonna be honest and admit i was a little bit interested in seeing this movie more than i was before just because of no way home and i wanted to figure out how because i want to figure out how they're going to check that box of that spider-man post it's not even connected they have a spider-man poster in the movie i want to figure out how they're going to check that box I mean, the closest theory that is out there is that all this stuff is happening in Andrew Garfield's universe. Yeah, that's but the, the that's poster the was the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Mm. Right? So that that's where things get... That's why I'm like, you know, Sony... Was it? I thought it was actually the... Uh, I've seen so many versions of it. I thought it was Check actually out. the... Back the um, what was it? The uh, Spider-Man from the video game. <laughs> <laughs> so... With this new story that they stumbled upon, of you know, and an interest that they stumbled upon with multiversal story, right? They saw it with the Into the Spider Verse. Now it worked again with Spider Man No Way Home. They threw Venom in it a little bit. It seems like that they they might find more potential to interconnect things. I thought that was the real reason they were going to push it back. I thought they were going to try to aim for some reshoots to try to tie in more of those narratives. But it's it's interesting to me that they pushed this movie back considering the success of a multiversal story and that we've already seen that little breadcrumb of a Spider-Man post. So here's the thing. Um, yeah, I do see what you're talking about being in the Sam Raimi. It doesn't make sense if they do. Now, Oscorp does exist in, universe. The, in the Venom universe or whatever. Like. It that, does. That's I believe. Well, actually, I take that back. I don't think it's actually been established, but it hasn't no. been unestablished either, right? Like it's no. not like, you know, we've had it confirmed or not. But the thing is, I don't think that the Morbius one makes sense to be to have the Sam Raimi version in there, um, because uh, Venom exists there. Yeah, Venom exists in the Sam Raimi universe. No, no, no. Venom exists in the Morbius one, but yeah, Morbius, right. but Morbius and the bro, and the uh, Tom Hardy Venom are in the same universe. How but do we they, know that? Because he says, "I am Venom." Yeah, but Venom exists in the Sam Raimi universe. Yeah, but that Venom was not the same one. How do we know that? So I hear you because you're, 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 you're making that connection. Wasn't in the third in the third Spider Man. Yeah, wasn't Venom like um, destroyed? Wasn't he like killed? I don't know, but what's the point? How does that dismiss the idea that other people have heard of Venom? I so when you say, watch I, No okay. Way Home, I see Sandman. He knew everything, right? He's like, oh, I know about the Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of him. Oh, yeah. yeah that, was Rock, universe, right? that was so all in the Raimi universe. Right? So the idea that Morbius can exist in the Raimi universe and be like, oh, yeah, I know who Venom is. He's the guy that bought Spider-Man on top of that building that day. Right? That, that well, Would he really be going around saying, I am Venom? I didn't think they were going to drop jokes at all, but it could work. So... I think that's, it's a stretch. I think it it's a stretch. It is, I, and that's I, why I, 
I want to see them check that box because if no other reason for me to see the Morbius movie. I think it's just a plot hole and they just threw up a version. They didn't think it was going to be that successful. (laughs) And it was like, oh, our bad. We really meant to put up Andrew Garfield. And by the way, I I bet money that's actually a post credit scene. I bet money that that is not uh, uh, um, something because Sony is notorious for that. They are notorious for showing in their movies, the ones that they produce. They are notorious in showing clips of the post credit scene in the trailer. Yeah. So don't even be surprised if that clip right there gets altered for the real movie and they alter it to a different Spider-Man. Absolutely. Those are the, but that's the only thing I'm saying. Morbius movie didn't have my anticipation before. Right on. That's the still not enough them. for me though, to be honest. For like, me, they've got, I just want to see them check these two boxes. Which it, it's, is it's it? not which enough. Spider-Man is it? How is this all? <sighs> working it's not enough for me to get excited about like i don't i don't really Period. care i don't care i, I, I mean i and uh, i don't care because this is coming from sony this is not coming from marvel with their production help this is not tied to we don't any, know that like no we do know that so we don't know that marvel's not helping okay so here's the thing right marvel obviously has a vested interest in the future of the sony universe this is sony now. has a ve- no they have a vested in interest in Spider-Man. Yeah. Sony has a vested interest in the Sony Marvel Universe because so that's now, the IP they currently own. That's not. It doesn't. Have, those two things can be separate. They don't no, have to but be. That's not how Sony is making the deal, right? You, they, you, no. We've got what Venom. What do you mean? Venom appeared in Spider-Man No Way Home. Right? Fan service, and then they kicked his ass right back out. After dropping off his symbiote. Which so, was stupid. It doesn't make now, sense, but whatever. Yes, it does. Because it, no, to me... It's a plot hole. I think it's a plot no, hole. No, I don't think it's a plot hole. To me, that's evidence that Sony is allowing Marvel to use symbiotes. Right? No, These are they're allowing characters. them to use Spider-Man's... Like, anything within Spider-Man, Sony has to write off on. You yeah, know? So and, and I do want to press you on that, by the way. Is, but the fact that they dropped off his symbiote at the end of the movie and left him in the MCU, let me let me ask you this: given them the future potential to use symbiotes in the MCU. Well, so to yes, be fair, is they've already, of, according to Amy Pascal, they've already agreed to have another uh, trilogy happening. Yeah, with but Tom Holland. Also, but Amy Pascal has also alluded to the fact that they are exchanging characters on, on the low. Right? They'll be sure. like, "All right, you can use this character, and we can use yeah, that." Yeah. Right. Yeah. I and mean, they're it not, all makes sense. They, but they're not making these conversations anywhere near public. We're finding no. out about these rights like years later. Yeah. So this goes back to like what I was saying. Like it sounds like, and this is where you can press me on. It seems like because of this new Spider-Man deal with them to continue to make movies, there's going to be some exchange of characters. There's, yeah, they have to because Marvel currently has no. They they don't have the rights to spider-man they don't and have to because Spy- marvel doesn't need to use spider-man character they built a whole universe and billion dollar franchises without they don't into Spider-Man they don't IP. have to but like a lot of the anything related to spider-man they need sony to write off on yeah so the like, idea like that anything they, whether the it's peter parker aunt may ned whatever piece in the mcu is not just fan service that is for future plot Yes, and that no, I and that's indicative that. of a long term deal to exchange the use of characters. So I think more just the trilogy that they Marvel, have currently. Marvel has a vested interest in further furthering their end of the bargain and helping Sony with some with some of their efforts. Somewhere. Now, I think that, and this is just a theory. This is all speculative. I don't have any proof of this, but my theory is that marvel is going to help try to add um interconnectivity to the sony universe in and of itself not to the mc uh, universe but just to better tie the threads between the sony movies the morbius movie different spider-man ip i think that they're gonna try to help them tidy that up that's my i don't think they will i don't think i don't think they need to that's I the think whole they... point of having different universes so it, it's gonna whole... be and and here's the other thing you have to also think about it from a corporate side you don't want to look weak in front of 
shareholders that and being like, yo, we need this other company dollars. to help. Nobody us. cares yeah, if right. nobody cares if you look weak. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. But there's still that corporate side. And you and I both know there's yeah. corporate egos sometimes yeah. that spit in the face of common logical sense. Except right. Except for this one IP. So I don't know, Warner man. Brothers is more. I think somebody somewhere Sony. down the line Sony is going to be like, yo, money. we can do this by ourselves. Yeah, we'll let you play and with Spider-Man, but we're with fully capable to. And that's always a painful reminder for them as to why they shouldn't it be is. trying to do this by themselves. I, I, so, listen, I agree with you. I'm just saying here's, here's I'm not doubting I'm that. that some corporate bigwig out here's there gonna add to that. is going to say something know different. John Watts directed the Venom post credit scene. And it was stupid. That explains why it was a, pot, a plot hole. So John, John Watts has Watt, a lot of plot holes. I don't so think, think about, people hold on, realize hold on, this. Hold on, hold on. Think about this for a second. John Watts is, um, you know, and he's done with Spider Man too. He is, but he is a Marvel corporate man <laughs> through and through. Even though he's working for Sony, he's working he's for a Sony, Marvel yeah. man. Well, yeah. His now that he's now. in Fantastic Four, yeah. He was always a Marvel man, right? He, yeah. He's, 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 like, he's he was, like their new little James Gunn. I would say he's even better than James Gunn because I'm not talking quality. about quality. I'm just saying in terms of investment. no, no. I just I mean even like, in that, we're I'm not talking about in you. I'm just talking about in that he doesn't talk, right? You don't sit yeah. here and see him on social media. Like Barely. James Gunn has made up his own little yeah. following based off of his efforts, but this guy doesn't do that. He's a corporate no. man through and he through. He comes in, he does his thing, and he goes quietly, out. Yeah, quietly. <laughs> Can we talk about the plot hole though? Can we hold on real quick? So just think about how if Marvel was involved or John Watts was involved with the post credit scene, imagine, and I could be speculating again, that the whole idea of introducing multiversal knowledge or the symbiote hive mind into the Venom symbiote is purely Marvel's idea. They said, look, you need to tack this on. I know you got your whole Venom 2 movie with Carnage, but hold on. In your post credit scene, Make sure he mentions the multiverse. Make sure he mentions he's got a hive mind. Make sure you drop these threads for the Venom symbiote that's bigger because y'all don't know what y'all doing. And sure. I and I think that this is going to um, feed into whatever they do with the Venom character moving forward. Sure. I'll give him all that. That's fine. Can we talk about why it's a plot hole, though? How is it a plot hole? Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give them some credit. Yeah. Some. Yeah, but I'm still going to press him on this. First of all, the mm -hmm. whole point of the spell in Spider-Man No Way Home. And if you're listening and this is a spoiler for you, sorry. Like it's, it's been, been it's two weeks. <laughs> like, you know, that's the rule. Three days for TV, two weeks for movies. Like um, I mean, I'm just saying if you got two paychecks, at least, come on, now. <laughs> you know, um, but my thing is this, uh, the whole point of the reversal of the spell was anybody who knew Peter Parker. First of all, the first point of the spell was anyone who knew Tom Holland's Peter Parker identity was attracted to the MCU. Anybody right? who knew Peter Parker was Spider-Man, period. No, that it has to be clear. That specific one, though. Not any Peter Parker. That Peter Parker. It had to that be that one. That, that doesn't make sense because if... Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. No, you're, no, you're right. No, it's any you're Peter right. Parker. No, you're right. You're right. It was all Peter Parkers because mm -hmm. they all were confused. So, no, I'm sorry. You're right. So, anybody that knew Peter Parker would come. Okay. So, mm -hmm. that's the one reason why Venom counted because of the Venom in Spider Man 3. He knew who Spider Man really was. Yeah. Okay. Now you have the whole hive mind thing. Whatever. Fine. Yeah. You bring Venom in there. I guess that somewhat makes sense. But the reversal spell was anybody that knew Peter Parker's identity had to go. Yeah. Right? Anyone. They forgot. they forgot and they had to leave. They go back because they forget. It, why would Venom leave a piece of himself back? Because are, it isn't like every being of Venom alive. Don't they so all share hive knowledge? So that's what that's where I was going to kind of go with that, because I have my own theory. Because to me, I'm like, every ounce of him should teleport back. No, no, no. no. But here's the thing. I have my own theory that that wasn't a piece of venom. I think it gave birth. I think it did, too. And that's the part where I kind of want to give them some credit. But I wonder 
even if you were to say he gave birth, and I know this is going to get super technical, are you saying that when he gives birth or when they spawn, that those things are um, not inorganic, but like not sentient? Are they not sentient the moment they're spawned? They are, but they're also infantile. If so they, they, are, they it grow. doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. If they are spawned with yeah. sentience and they share a collective hive mind, then that thing, the moment it's spawned off, should automatically no. still know no. who Peter so here's, Parker here's, was. Here's, here's where they're going to say is the loophole. Because he gave birth in the MCU, that symbiote is native to the MCU. Right. He's not from the other universe. Yeah. So yeah. when you He's erase the, the knowledge... Now. When you erase the knowledge of Peter Parker, yeah, the parent went home, but he never knew who Peter Parker He's was. He's an anchor and he, baby. And he yeah. stayed in his home universe, which I get is it. now the MCU. So, I mean, I, that part I get, but I'm like, that's not, it, 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 it seems, okay, so then I guess at the end of the day, and I, I still <laughs> think it's stupid. I, I, I just think it's you dumb. You know, they had to but find a way to introduce They him. had to, but MCU. literally they could have done it so many different ways. They could have... Somebody I they could have just given them the same origin story, honestly. I, I would have been happy if they would have went with the synthetic symbiote story that they used in the Ultimate Comics, where it was just a creation of Richard Parker. Oh, yeah, fine. Whatever. Like, yeah, I guess. You could do that, too. But my thing is, like, you know, they just... It just felt so forced. And, I mean, you're going to have to explain. I don't even know if they want to explain it. Um, but I guess the symbiote is still going to at least know what a Spider-Man is. Might not know it's Peter Parker Whatever. yet, but we'll they'll see. know I need to get to this thing called Spider-Man because I like Spider-Mans. I, mean, I don't I, know. I don't know. Maybe. Don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. They got a lot of potential. Movement. I guess. 